now that we've heard from the Fed and seen this month's jobs report. How are you feeling about the market? Well, you know, strong jobs report, uh, Chris, that uh, you're going to be talking about a little bit later, but also with the, uh, with the Fed tightening interest rates for a tenth time since uh, March 17th of 2022, have they brought interest rates up to 5%. And, uh, you know, I, I'll tell you, I've been saying it for quite a long time, uh, as much as uh, most people want to believe that the market is turning into a bull phase here, I've never really seen uh, the bull market get started when the Fed is still uh, so hawkish as they are. And they, they repeated their mantra uh, this past week as saying, you know, higher for longer. And, and certainly the data that we've seen this week and the past couple of weeks support that view that interest rates should stay up for a little, a little while longer. Now, as it relates to the stock market, Look, you know what? We've been trapped in a range for the past four months between 3,800 on the low side, which is where we started in 2023, and 4,200 on the upside, which we tried to break through last week and uh, came down uh, sharply earlier this week. Um, so we'll have to see um, if one of those levels is penetrated here. We did reach a, a, a pretty overbought reading last week uh, as we closed out April for a positive month, Chris. But uh, you know, for for right now, I think we're kind of in a in a no man's land. Uh, you know, you could sell the low, sell the top, and buy the bottom when we uh, when we reach those levels. Yeah, I think that's right, Bob. Like like you said, we've been trapped in this trading range for quite a while, and and candidly, you know, all the data that we got this week from the um, PMI reports for manufacturing and services that showed inflation picking up to what we saw uh, in this morning's April jobs report. Not only were jobs stronger than expected, wages were stronger than expected, and the uh, unemployment rate clearly ticking the wrong way. Uh, you know, I don't think the Fed is going to like this report, but let's remember that you know the prospects for tighter credit are something that we need to navigate. As we shared with members, that's the big wild card ahead for monetary policy, and, and I think that when we get the sluice report on Monday, we'll have we'll start to have a better sense as to what that is looking like. But even there, we have to remember, you know, the headlines that we saw over the last, you know, several days about the banking industry. Uh, odds are credit will be even tighter than what this report indicates.